everybody and welcome back to another video and today I'm going to be telling you a story about something that happened about two weeks ago. So pretty much me and my friend and Blake we were going out to play some baseball because you know us neighborhood boys like us some baseball. So yeah we went out to play baseball and so we have like a flat road that's like two houses down from us so yeah. And yeah, so we play there because it's like flat, so it's really easy to play. And at the end of that road, there's this crazy, not, I don't, I'm not going to say crazy lady. We call her crazy garden lady only for the fact that she has a garden. It's the only thing she cares about in life. And the reason we call her crazy is because one time a cat went, somebody else's cat went and started walking on her garden. And then she kidnapped the cat and locked it in a cage and didn't feed it. Until the owner came and got it. The cats didn't die, so yeah. In case you were wondering, we gotta keep this family friendly. But anyway, so yeah. We were playing catch there, alright? And I said to my friend, Hey, I, hey, you can't throw a, like a, good, a curveball as good as mine, bet. And he's like, I bet, let's go. So he threw me his curveball. It was a good curveball. But it bounced like a foot in front of me. And you know that, you if you don't know, baseballs on concrete have really weird bounces. So yeah, it bounced. And so there's this, we're playing like right in front of a house because like it's right on the end of the street, right? So it goes past me and it hits her white van, which I think has like, probably like some sort of gardening stuff in it for her garden because like she, the van's always out there she's in it she like it's outside her house and yeah so we hit the van and yeah you can probably imagine where this is going so we hit her van it makes a loud thudding noise and then the lady comes out and she's like oh my gosh i was just butting my effing van she actually said the word though in front of like t two 12 year olds and a 10 year old so yeah, she comes out saying, oh, I was just about to move my epic van. And then we're like, geez, okay. And then, and then so, because Hudson, uh, because, yeah, my friend's there, uh, I almost said his name there, Hud, 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 that, that's his name, or a bit of his name. He, he's got a long name though, so I promise you that's not his name. But anyway, so yeah, he's just standing there, and the lady's like, Oh my gosh, I thought you were better than that, and starts making like racist comments. Like, Oh my god, I, I, I know your sisters can throw better than that. Like, first off, how does she know that we have, me and the kid have sisters? Like, we do, and we're like, I, I'm like, how do you know we have a sister? So yeah, whatever. And so yeah, she's like, um, I thought I thought you were better than that. I know your sisters could throw like that. I thought you guys were actually good, which actually kind of hurt my feelings a bit. I know I sound like a toddler, but like, I take baseball like kind of seriously. Like baseball's my life, and she's kind of insulting me, saying that I'm bad at it, which I'm not. And then, and then I didn't say this, but I'm like, dog, who's going to Cooperstown? this summer and playing in like five other major baseball tournaments and who's sitting in their house screaming at kids. So yeah, um, and then also about two weeks earlier prior to that event, me and the same kid were playing catch, right? And then a, the, another lady is driving by and so we stop throwing obviously. And then when she drives by, the kid who I'm playing catch with I'm not gonna say his name. It's this the same kid that hit the lady's van. He fakes, he like pump fakes to throw it at the car. And then the car stops. And then she just starts swearing at him through the closed window. And I can hear her. She's going, oh my god, what the F are you doing? If you hit me, I would have been so effing pissed. Because, oh my god. And like she just starts sticking up her middle finger. And like she goes insane. So yeah, that happens. And. So then two weeks later, he, the kid hits the van, obviously. And then about 15, 20 minutes later, after we're like scared of her and we like go back and start playing catch like two houses down, um, that same lady that he, that the kid um, faked throw through the ball at talks to the lady whose van we hit. 
and we legitimately thought that something really bad was going to happen. Because they were talking for like half an hour and we're like, shoot, we're kind of screwed. You, two weeks ago, threw almost pretty much threw a ball at her, th at her car and she got mad. And um, now you've hit another ladies' man and obviously they're friends. So yeah, that happens. Um, yeah, so the lady got mad at us. Um, I'm gonna go get the kid just so like, cause he uh, he probably has a better story than me. I'm gonna go get the actual kid that faked to throw at the lady's car and then actually hit the lady's van. I will be back in one second. Okay, so what happened was. Me and Xander were just playing around on the street, catching and just throwing back to each other. And then we were like, and then we started doing different like pitching drips and different pitches. And then I was, and then I said, okay, hey, maybe I should, I'll try a curveball. Then, but then I see, I see a white like big van come, and then I'm like, oh yeah, I really hope I don't hit that. And then. And then I saw this lady outside, I was like, oh shoot, she's gonna, she, she looks mean, old and grumpy, so it could be a big deal. But, so I threw it, then it bounced, then it had to try to pick the ball, and go scoop it, and then he missed it, well, probably more my fault, but he missed it regardless, and then it hit the woman's car, and then she started, like, swearing, and saying ah and started saying like sexist jokes uh, and she said like hey i thought your sisters have good arms and then she and then she, something like that and then and then we just were like sorry sorry and then we ran inside and then today i saw her again and then well i didn't like see her i saw her car filling up and i ran immediately got under a bush and hid because <laughs> she like terrifies me and so, cause, and I'm not getting in the well again, and then, <laughs> and so, yeah, that's pretty much what happens. Thank you for watching the video, and make sure to like and subscribe. And use code JeffWood at GGRacelets for 15% off all purchases. Bye!